Hello, this is Dave from Mountain Maple Farm. Today we're going to be giving an indoor demonstration of Mountain Maple's new dual pump controller. Um, let's first uh, step back and look at the entire system. This is this is set up indoors. Um, as, as you can see, we have the controller in the middle and we have two pumps. We have pump A to the left, pump B to the right. So let's just do a quick walkthrough of the, of the, of the system. Um, this is the controller. This is similar to Mountain Maple's uh, controllers that we've been selling for a few years now. Uh, main difference is we have uh, pump A, um, the switch and fuse, and we have pump B, and it's a, a separate switch and fuse. Um, if we look at the the setup here, we have uh, we have the pump A on the on the left side. We have the on the inlet of the pump. We have the strainer. Um, we have the uh, incoming sap line that comes up to the pump. Um, this is uh, the vacuum sense for the uh, for the inlet, um, and we have the uh, bypass valve electrically activated that allows uh, gravity flow of sap when whenever the pump is stopped for whatever reason. On the other side, we have pump B. It's a similar setup. Um, we have the uh, incoming sap line, um, bypass valve. Um, the vacuum sense. Uh, this side also has a, a gauge, a mechanical gauge. Um, so let's let's go ahead and um, turn pump A on. Uh, if we look at the display here, uh, we can see it's closing valve A, and we can look down here. Uh, we can see this pump has started. Um, so the uh, display, the top line of the display, we have the um, upper left. We have the um, temperature, degrees Fahrenheit, um, the middle number is the battery voltage, the uh, upper right is uh, the vacuum, and we're going to uh, go back and forth between the uh, A side and the B side. Uh, the B side, as you can tell, is uh, it's not, it's not turned on yet. The lower line, we have the display of the, uh, the run time, if it's on. Status is it is it off? Is it waiting for something? Um, we can also display the uh, electrical current that the pump is running. So let's um, let's go to the, uh, the the B side pump and we're going to turn that on as well. Um, pump is activated. Now closing a little bit. It's activated, um, and we can see typical. Diaphragm pumps, the vacuum starts off uh, pretty low, around 10 inches or so, um, until uh, the liquid starts to flow through the pump. And we'll see it slowly go up and rise to about 12 now. Um, if we look at the uh, displays here, in the uh, upper right corner of the display, we can see the A side, is at 26 inches, the B side is uh, 14 now. That'll increase. Um, 26 inches is about the maximum of this setup. Uh, we'll do. So, um, I'm pretty excited about this. There's uh, a couple of different ways this can be beneficial to the, the sugar maker. Um, one is if you have you know more caps than a single pump will, will handle. This this gives you a way to use a single controller with two different pumps. So it's, um, the, the controller is a, is a little bit higher cost, but it's, uh, it's less money than, than two separate controllers. And the other thing this does is if you, if you have, um, you know, let's say you have a couple hundred caps, um, by using this, if, if there's a, by using two pumps on this setup instead of a single pump, then you're covered if, if there's a, uh, a vacuum link leak. Um, let's say there's a, a squirrel chew or something. Um, then you can, this will allow one pump to continue running at a full vacuum, and uh, while, while the other one is um, at, at a reduced vacuum or, or possibly shut down. So that allows you to get a um, higher yield on at least on half your line until the problem can be fixed. So, pretty excited about this. Uh, check out our website, um, mountainmaplefarm.com, for uh, additional information. Thank you for watching.